Hi, it's Pat Ray here, Referee Manager of Bay of Plenty Rugby. And in this video, I'm going to walk you through a simple tackle checklist. So a definition of a tackle under Law 15 is where a ball carrier is held by one or more opponents and is brought to ground. And opponents who hold the ball carrier and take them to ground and go to ground with them are deemed tacklers. Whereas opponents who hold the ball carrier take them to ground but do not go to ground with them are not tacklers. Uh, and in the referee game, we call them tackle assists. So here you can see in this slide, red number seven makes a tackle and he goes to ground with the ball carrier. So he is deemed a tackler. But in these two pictures here, eight green, he helps the ball carrier go to ground, but he doesn't go to ground with the ball carrier. So he's deemed a tackle assist. So what are the ramifications of these? Well, the benefit of being a tackler is that you can get up and attack the ball from wherever, provided that you let the ball carrier go and you get to your feet before the clean out and therefore a ruck is formed. However, the negatives of being a tackle assist are that a tackle assist must let the ball carrier go. They must get out of the tackle area if they are in fact in it and they must re-enter through the gate. So as a referee, your objective at a tackle is you want the ball in and then you want the ball out. So you need to get yourself in a position to be able to see the ball. And in this picture here, you can see the referee. He's in a position that we call on the A line, which is an imaginary line across the hindmost foot of the tackle zone. And you can also see that he's got his eyes on the ball. So that's one position to get yourself into. Another position to get yourself into is called the jockey. This position is directly behind the halfback or the person clearing the ball from the tackle contest. Both of those positions are great positions to be able to see the ball. As the tackle occurs and players end up on the ground, you need to ask yourself, is the ball available? If it is, watch what happens. The ball should emerge. If it isn't, you'll need to act. The situation will present to you three options. You can do nothing because the ball is available, or you can bark an instruction or an order at one of the players in order for the ball to come out. For example, you can yell out something along the lines of seven black roll, if seven black is the person who's preventing the ball from coming out. Whatever the situation presents, ensure that when you bark your instruction, it's a number and a color and the action that you want them to do. And your third option is you're going to have to make a decision which means blowing your whistle. And the two decisions you'll need to come up with, you'll either need to award a penalty kick or you'll need to award a scrum. So what are your tackle penalty options? These are in order of the way things should occur. The first offence committed at a tackle would be the tackler not rolling away. And in this situation, 12 red is the player who doesn't roll away, which slows the ball from being cleared from the tackle. So the offence is tackler not rolling away, and there's the secondary signal. The second offence applies to the tackle assist. Here, 8 green is a tackle assist, and as he makes the tackle, he doesn't release the ball carrier. This would slow the delivery of the ball to the white team, and so therefore the penalty is for the tackle assist, no clear release. And there's your secondary signal. Number 3 is the ball carrier not releasing the ball. That's pretty obvious, pretty easy to see. Number four is where your arriving players don't come through the gate. And number five is your arriving players, when they do arrive at the tackle contest, they either intentionally fall over on a player or they dive on the ground near the tackle. So if the ball doesn't emerge from a tackle and you can't decide who caused it to become trapped, you need to award a scrum. The feed goes to the team going forward prior to the stoppage or the attacking team. 